Hi there, maintenance-oriented haulers. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at Lubramatics Dielectric Contact Grease. So we've been experiencing some issues with our travel trailer here. When we plug in, sometimes our lights are working, sometimes they're not, it's a little bit finicky. If we jiggle the connector, it usually works. Most of the time, this is caused by poor contacts inside your connector, and that's usually due to corrosion. You can see here that this connector has actually got some corrosion on it, and the plastic's actually starting to deform because once you get this corrosion on here, it's possible that you can still have contact enough to illuminate your lights and operate your functions, but this corrosion is going to cause extra resistance here, which is going to cause it to build heat. And as it builds up heat, you can see the plastic's deformed due to the excessive heat that it's caused. And eventually over time, that heat is going to cause further damage and fretting onto our connectors here. And eventually it's going to get so bad that we're not even going to be able to fix it. So to get on top of this before it gets that bad, we want to clean out all this corrosion and we want to seal it up to prevent it from happening again. And that's why we're going to be using the dielectric grease here. Now there's a lot of different ways you can clean out corrosion. Usually something acidic like vinegar and a water mixture works great. Or you can just go to your automotive store and pick up electrical contact cleaner to clean it out. You can also use a bristled brush to clean it out, but you do want to be careful when using any brushes down in here because if you spread those contacts apart, you may spread them apart too far to where they're not going to touch onto the terminals once you plug it in, and then you now need to replace the pins and potentially the whole connector. So we're just going to spray our contact cleaner in here. And we're using this contact cleaner because it is a quick dry contact solution because we don't want any moisture or anything left behind. This is designed to dry out very rapidly so we don't leave any moisture behind. So we use the contact cleaner. We still got a little bit of corrosion in there, so we're going to take our bristled brush to clean that up. Now you'll notice I'm not sticking it down in there. We don't want to spread those terminals out. So we're just kind of run, rubbing it along the top to get that corrosion out of there. A toothbrush works very well as well if you've got an old one laying around. But if you don't and you need a bristled brush, you can get one just like I got here at eTrailer.com. And we're just trying to get all that out of there. Now that all of our contacts have been cleaned up, we're going to take the dielectric grease and we're going to apply it generously to all of our pins here because so we want to try to keep out any moisture from getting in there and we're not just using any grease we are using dielectric grease because dielectric grease is specifically designed for this application as it does not conduct electricity so we don't have to worry about any of our contacts shorting out between one another and then it has the other properties that grease has where it coats up the surface and helps keep out moisture sealing it all in. So now that we've got that done, we're ready to plug it in to our trailer and hit the road. And we don't need to clean any of this up. We can just leave it there because we're trying to seal out moisture and dirt. On the other side here on our truck, it's a good idea to clean these pins out as well because we don't want to transfer any of the corrosion that may be on these or the other ones back and forth. And we can also put the dielectric on these pins as well to help further seal up and protect this side. Now that we've cleaned up each end and got them greased, we can go ahead and plug them together. Now we discussed earlier about how the grease is non-conductive and because that's what we want. We don't want any of our pins to be shorting out with the other ones next to it. But that doesn't mean that it's gonna cause any issues with the connections between our connector here on our trailer and the one on our truck because the pins are designed to be a nice tight fit. So when it goes in, we do get metal to metal contact as it pushes that grease out of the way. Now, if when during cleaning, if you do stick something down in there, you can spread those terminals apart. And when you go together, they may not touch. That's because you have damaged pins. You'll have to replace the pins. As long as everything's okay, our grease is not going to affect us because that terminal is going to have good contact. And it's not only great for the seven poles like we showed you earlier, but it's going to work on all of your trailer connectors, especially ones that are exposed to the elements like this. Keeping them coated is going to help keep corrosion off of them to ensure a longer lasting connection. So your four poles, your five poles, basically anything here on the outside. And it's also highly recommended for you flat towers out there. So your six pole ends and your seven pole where it plugs into your motor home, keep those all greased up as well because we don't want any connection issues with our vehicle when we're flat towing it down the road. And while you're at it, don't forget about the lights on your trailer. All these connection points as well are susceptible to corrosion. So we can keep all of those clean. And if you have incandescent bulbs on your vehicle, it's recommended to put them on those as well. Pretty much any connector that does not have a weather pack seal, which is a rubberized seal around it, you would want to put this grease on because they have no form of weather protection. And that's what this is doing for us. It's providing us with a coat of weather protection. All in all, this is going to be an inexpensive way to keep all of your electrical components operating properly 
and avoiding expensive wiring repairs down the road. And that completes our look at Lubramatic's dielectric contact grease.